Greetings folks, Raymond Lacoste here at Stormwind Studios and I want to share something with you and that is my score report for the NRC certification exam. That's right, I just wrapped up the NRC certification exam and NRC stands for Implementing Cisco Enterprise Advanced Routing and Services. That's what that stands for. And my score says that I have passed the certification exam. The actual score doesn't matter folks, it's whether you pass or fail. That's all that really matters, right? So. I was successful at taking the NRC and passing the NRC certification exam on the first try. So I want to share my exam experience with you and how we here at Stormin Studios can help you prepare and pass this certification exam on the first try. So first and foremost, we're dealing with the 300-410 NRC certification exam. It is a 90 minute exam. I can't tell you how many questions you get in 90 minutes because it's not a published number. Therefore, I could be breaking the Cisco non-disclosure agreement. But let me just put it this way. You're required to answer a lot of questions in the 90 minutes, all right? So it is a marathon exam. Reviews about CCNA, reviews about Encore, also say those are marathon exams. Same idea here, it's a marathon exam. What are we being tested on here? We're being tested on our knowledge. What's up here? Cisco's trying to extract information from the depths of your brain that you didn't even know existed. So you need to be well prepared for all the different topics and concepts that Cisco is going to test you on in this exam. So layer three technologies, VPN technologies, infrastructure security, infrastructure services, right? All of these are topics on the exam. First and foremost, what I want to point out to you is the word troubleshoot. A hey, troubleshoot really means configure, verify, and troubleshoot. That's what it means. It just doesn't mean that you have the ability to troubleshoot. It simply means that you understand all the configuration parameters of everything in relation to all, the diff all these different protocols and services. So when you're looking at something like EIGRP, do you understand how to configure EIGRP in classic and named mode? Do you understand how neighborships and authentication occurs and how to configure and verify that? Therefore, being able to troubleshoot it. Do you know how to configure and verify stubs so that way there you can troubleshoot stubs? Do you understand how to configure and verify load balancing so that way there you can troubleshoot load balancing? Likewise, metric configurations and how you can adjust those and change those as well. So when we say troubleshoot here, we mean configure, verify, and troubleshoot. So if I gave you a diagram and that diagram had a whole bunch of EIGRP routers in the same autonomous system, and then there was configuration snippets for various routers, and then the question said, why can't A talk to B? Who's A and B? Well, it depends on the diagram. Let's say PCA can't talk to PCB. And then you look down below and it might say, the EIGRP routers X and Y can't form neighbor adjacencies because of this. Uh, they can't form neighbor adjacencies because of this, they can't do this because of that, and so on and so forth. So based on the options combined with the snippets, combined with the diagram, you then have to figure out whether A, B, or C are correct. That's just one example, okay? Just one example. Now I know most of you are asking, what type of questions are on the exam? I can't share that with you either. And the reason why is because that is not published information. Now, the great thing about this exam was that as soon as I started the exam, it said these are the types of questions you can expect on this exam. And what I found different than the old Cisco exams is that they didn't provide me with all the different types of questions you could experience. They only provided me with the questions that I will experience on this exam. Whereas old exams had the listing of what the seven or eight different questions types that Cisco could ask. So multiple choice, single answer, multiple choice, multiple answer, drag and drop, simlets, testlets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, in this case, they just showed me exactly the types I would get. So then there was no surprises in the exam. Those were the types I got. So, can't tell you exactly the types I got, but here's the deal. You need, no matter what, regardless of the type of question, that should never matter to you going forward. This is the way you need to start thinking about Cisco exam. Doesn't matter the type of question. If I am knowledgeable and I know how to configure, I know how to verify because I spent time watching videos, and learning the theory and configuration and verification behind everything. And then I did hands-on labs, hands-on labs that would help me retain this information and build muscle memory, both in my fingers and my brain. And then I turned around and do practice exams. So that way there I can build confidence in regards to asking questions or answering questions on the exam and also having a better understanding of how to approach styles of questions on the exam, right? You, will then be able to answer any type of question on the exam. It doesn't matter whether it's a simulation, a simlet, a testlet. 
if you can configure, verify, and troubleshoot, you can answer all those different styles of questions. It doesn't matter. So you do not want to just prepare for one style of question. You want to prepare for all styles of question by doing what? Really learning this information. And that's the only way you're going to get through the certification exam, folks, is to really learn this information in detail. So wherever you see troubleshoot, it means configure, verify, and troubleshoot. Wherever you see configure, verify, it really means configure, verify, and troubleshoot. Because for example, when you see configure, verify, policy-based routing, what can I do? I can give you a picture. I could then give you output of policy-based routing. I could then give you a question that says, why is it not working? And then I can give you a bunch of different answer options. And then you are going to have to figure out why it's not working. With policy-based routing, it could be an access control list problem. It could be a route map problem. It could be that you applied it to the wrong interface. And without really knowing how policy-based routing is configured and verified, then you can't answer that question. So even though it's still kind of like a troubleshooting question, but it's based on, do you understand the configuration of policy-based routing and how it works? So keep that in mind. No matter what, wherever you see configure, verify, and troubleshoot here, it really means that you have to be able to configure, verify, and troubleshoot in all those different sections. Now, whenever you see describe, it really means just describe. So the theory behind what it is, the different uh, protocols and services that are used within it, what is a label switch router, what is the label discovery protocol, what is the label switch path, things like that, right? Also, what exactly is a label, right? If you don't know that, it's going to be hard to answer MPLS operational questions. And then same thing with MPLS layer three VPNs. So folks, it's critical, critical that you take the time to truly learn and memorize how to configure EIGRP, OSPF, BGP, redistribution, DMVPNs, and so on and so forth. Everything you see in this list for the certification exam, it has to be in here. It has to be just second nature to you. When you see a question, you, you, you look at diagrams, you look at configuration output, you look at answer options, and you really just have to know this material in detail. So how are we going to help you with that here at Stormin Studios? It's simple. We're going to provide you all the theory you need, all the configurations you need, all the verifications you need, how everything works. And then you're going to practice with hands-on labs that are going to help you configure and verify and troubleshoot. And then after that, you'll have a practice exam, a practice exam that's going to help you build the confidence you need to focus on the questions and, and really nail down exactly what is expected of you for the certification exam. So we have the complete package for you here at Storm and Studios, folks. So join me here in in RC, whenever you get a chance to join me. So that way there, you can become an implementing Cisco Enterprise Advanced Routing and Services expert with me, guiding you along the way, and therefore be able to achieve your CCNP Enterprise designation when you combine that with the Encore certification exam. So folks, until next time, keep up the great work and enjoy everything you do. We'll see you in the future, folks. Bye for now.